Hello everyone, today we'll uh, focus on shading the regions on the Venn, di Venn diagram and naming the shaded regions on the Venn diagram. And we will start with naming um, the shaded regions. So we start with really, really basic ones. And the first one, as you can see, um, we have a universe, set P and set Q, and set P is yellow, that means um, this part is shaded. So if you want to write it down, the answer is P, set P is shaded. Then the next one, uh, very similar, so what region is shaded? Um, as you can see, in this case, set Q is shaded, so the answer for the second one is Q. Now, look at diagram number 3. As you can see, the yellow part is between P and Q. How can you write it down using math symbols? What is it? part between P and Q, something common, common for P and Q. And this part in the middle um, is named intersection, as you should know it. So let's write it down, P intersection Q. And this is the answer for um, this diagram. Don't forget to take the questions down, write down the answers and draw the diagram properly, please. And look at the next, the next one. And here, all P and all Q is shaded in yellow. So this is union, as you should know from the last class. And the symbol for union is in here. So P union Q. And this is the answer. Take it down, please. In this case, as you can see, we have um, set P, set Q, and just a part of set P is shaded. So everything in P, but not in Q. Not in Q. So what's P, but not Q? P take away Q. So as you know, this is set difference and we the symbol for uh, set difference is P minus Q. Everything in P but not in Q. And the last one here, as you can see, we have uh, set P and yellow in here. So everything outside P is shaded. Everything outside P. And this is P complement. So P complement. This is the answer. And the very last um, shaded region. So we have set P and Q and they are not shaded at all. This yellow part is shaded. So how can you write it down? Let's start with this part first. So this is universe. So we have P union Q. And everything is shaded apart P union Q. So we can put bracket in here and little comma here. That means complement. So everything is shaded apart P union Q. Okay, and the next part in our video is shading the region. So let's start with really uh, basing, basic things like A here and A union B. So if you want to shade set A, we just need to shade this part. 
so let's color it in. And this is the answer. Take it down, please. The next um, example here, we need to shade A union B. As you should remember, A union B is everything in A and everything in B. So we need to shade A and B. Okay. Right. Let's do the next one then. Okay, so let's start with the first one and let's shade A intersection B. As you know, intersection means between. So we need to shade this little part. It's in the middle, so between A and B common for A and common for B. Right, the next one B complement. What does it mean? B complement means everything outside B. Everything but not in B. So as you can see we have set bin here. So everything outside B. Everything. It's not only set A, but everything in the universe outside B. Mm -hmm. So use colors and make your notes nice and neat. Okay. Very good. Um, right, look at the next one, and then let's try A minus B. So everything in A, but not in B. So we have set A here, and we need to take away B, cover set B. So everything in A, but not in B. So we need to take this little part out. So if you want to color it in, just this little part, everything in A, but not in B, nothing in B is covered. Okay. And let's try the next one on this page, B minus A. So in this case, everything in B, but not in A. So the same, everything in B, but not in A. Okay, so take it down to your copies, this. And the last two, um, the harder ones. So let's try a u union B complement. And then the next one, A minus B complement. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Um, it looks more complicated, so we need to break it down. So first of all, we have A union B, and A union B is everything in here, everything in A and everything in B. But we are asked to find complement, that means everything outside A union B. So we need to shade this region, everything outside A union B. Take your time when coloring. Don't be in the rush. And you need to break it down, okay, step by step. Right, and then look at the next, the last question. So again, we need to break it down. First of all, what's in the bracket? In the bracket we have A minus B. So everything in A but not in B, so this, this little part but we are asked to find complement. So 
everything outside this little part. So again, first of all, you need to find the part in the bracket and then find the complement. So everything outside, in this case, this little region. So let's color it in. So again, this is A, take away B, everything in A, but not in B, but we are asked to find complement, so everything outside this part. Okay, done. So after watching this video, you should be able to uh, shade the Venn diagram regions and then name the shaded regions. So for homework, try to uh, shade A uh, intersection B complement and try to name this shaded region, okay? This one. What can it be? Just use uh, symbols you've met so far and try to name it. So see you tomorrow.